today i am going to discuss about uh, checkbox controls in windows forms application so we will discuss in this session checkbox controls and timer control and uh, uh, timer control checkbox controls and other controls we will discuss today so now first i will start with uh, uh, checkbox control here so here i discuss already radio button controls radio button control is accept only one option from the user and checkbox control is accept multiple uh, options from the user here we can able to activate multiple options same like uh, checkbox control default event is checked changed same like radio button control here so let's see one simple example with checkbox control okay so i am going to add one window form for that uh, checkbox control so windows form i am adding that is form name if you want to change here you can change the form name then you can click on add you will be able to see that new form here you can see here this is new form so in this form i am designing checkbox control for that i am taking uh, first of all some label controls and uh, text box control that can be present in common controls here label control i am dragging and uh, along with this uh, text box control i am dragging and dropping here this is text box control and here a uh, one more label control i am taking let copy this and paste into here one more label control here then after checkbox controls i will take here so four checkbox controls i will take you can see one and if you want one more checkbox control you can copy the checkbox control from here and within the same form you can paste it you need not to go every time multiple checkbox control purpose every time you need not to go to toolbox and drag and drop okay immediately here we can copy and paste <coughs> four checkbox controls are there and later i am taking what here one button controls i will take one button control here so button control when i click on it immediately and uh, name of the user what he entered and after that what he has what he is activated the checkbox thing that all text we have to display in this label control so let me uh, select all together the controls and go to properties expand font and size is i'm taking uh, 15 and bold if you want to make you can true here so here i'm going to choose this first label control text text is what here enter name i'm just asking enter name so this text box uh, name also i'm changing txt name you can see txt name just control identification txt is a text box uh, control identification name is what purpose of the control this is txt name then you can see here i'm taking some text in this label the text is select uh, hobbies so I'm just fixed text I'm placing select hobbies in this text we have to select the hobbies but you can see checkbox controls are four let me select the first checkbox checkbox text is uh, hobby is for example reading I'm giving hobby and chk is a control identification of checkbox and reading is uh, purpose of the control okay chk reading and this is a uh, chk chk charting just text also i am changing here chk charting charting here then here i am taking chk playing and uh, let me take uh, playing is what text here then last uh, here i'm taking browsing chk browsing right you can see these are the four text boxes here one, uh, four check boxes here one button control is there button text box name uh, button control name also i'm going to take btn submit is a button control name and submit is the text of the control submit and uh, let me expand the button control properly submit 
and you can see label control this label control text I am removing because at the running time it should display but let me take first you can see LBL display right so whenever I am changing startup object you can see uh, solution explorer double click on program.cs form 6 I want to execute click on save so in this checkbox my requirement is user need to be enter the name in name text box and after that he can activate according to their hobbies whatever the checkbox checkbox controls will allow multiple options to select so either it, it can select one or two or three or four also then click on submit button when we click on submit button along with that name with the name is which is entered in the text box that name and whatever options we selected that should be uh, display in this label 3 control okay right but here you can see when I am executing this empty form that the control is uh, displaying label 3 here but this label 3 is not display in this time okay this label 3 is only displaying at running time so let me dis make this running time to display now let me select this label control go to properties and text is I am going to remove here text is so now when I go to remove the text you can see when I am going to execute the label is not display when the label is display at running time it will display ok right so let us write the coding part for this doing operations now click on submit button here I am going to store some value in s variable string s what value I am going to store txt name dot text equal to txt name dot text plus then hobbies are ok I am going to uh, take text name dot text plus hobbies are then this text I wanted to place entire the thing in this s variable so txt name means whatever user is entered the name in the text box that name plus hobbies are text totally display in s totally storing in s then after that user may activate any one of the checkbox here among four checkboxes so that's what we have to take that code in if conditions now let me take if condition if chk uh, what it is uh, reading chk reading dot checkered why because checkbox control uh, default event for checkered changed here chk reading dot checkered equal to equal to what true then open close ok then open close if open close is optional if you want you can take otherwise not required if chk reading dot checked equal to equal to true s equal to s plus chk reading dot text i want to display text here some space ok if chk reading dot checked equal to equal to true s equal to s plus chk reading dot text here then if chk playing dot checked equal to equal to true chk playing dot checked equal to equal to true then s equal to s plus chk playing dot text plus some space in between element to element ok the next uh, if user may activate other uh, hobby like uh, charting or browsing then chk charting dot chk charting dot checkered equal to equal to true then s equal to s plus chk charting dot text here plus some space in between then if chk browsing dot checkered chk browsing dot checkered equal to equal to true then s equal to s plus chk browsing dot text here plus some space now finally we need to display all those activated text by using checkboxes and name of the user which is entered in text boxes plus hobbies are totally we need to display what label control so that's what I am taking what lbl display dot text equal to what s is ok this is very simple code but when we are going to execute you can see I will enter some name of the uh, user uh, sai reading and playing when I am going to click on that sai hobbies are reading and playing if you give charting charting is coming if you give browsing browsing is coming then if you remove this it will be able to get these all those things. but what is the problem with this code you can see if two more checkboxes may increase for example you can see in this example I will increase two more checkboxes ok two more checkboxes let me increase for other hobbies like this let me activate this 
two more check boxes increment. So, CHK CHK singing that point singing is a hobby then next uh, hobby is dancing is a text and CHK dancing is control CHK dancing ok then two more check boxes are increased in this singing and dancing but you can see when I am going to increase so you will be able to get what here for example if I am giving Durga and reading and charting browsing and singing and dancing also I am activating but you never get singing and dancing text here only reading charting browsing because in the coding we have not uh, uh, written any coding part for singing and dancing acceptance so that's what it is not so that means if you want to do that uh, singing and dancing text in the coding what you have to do two more if conditions should be increased here ok two more if conditions should be increased so how many number of check boxes you may increase in the design so that many number of check box or not that many number of if condition also you should increase in the coding so this code is not uh, good in reality so that is what what I am going to do this here the entire the code is going to be commenting so let me write some logic code if you write that logic code with the help of logic code how many number of check boxes you may increase in future so in our application in your application so you need not increase any number of uh, if conditions ok let me write that so for each loop I am using for each control x is some of the x control x means any other control for each x in this dot controls for each x in this dot controls then open close if condition if x is text box or if x is check box ok x is check box then open and close then what we have to do we need to create object for check box as I told that each and every control in windows forms application is class so check box is a class so that is what check box is a class c1 is object equal to then check box of then x is ok then after that if c1 dot checked equal to equal to true c1 means any check box object that is if c1 dot checked equal to equal to true s equal to s plus c1 dot text here plus some space in between it is very simple code I have written so with this logic code you may increase number of check boxes in feature then you need not to change uh, uh, the any code or you need not increase any if conditions like that if you follow if conditions compulsory how many number of check boxes you may increase that many if conditions also should increase here so for each control is a class x is some other control whatever x might be in this means present form dot controls out of all controls if x is a check box if check box means check box is a class c1 is object for check box and check box of x here casting i did here ok then if c1 dot checked c1 means check box object any check box is activated checked equal to equal to true then s equal to s plus c1 dot check means c1 is any control that text it will be display either it is dancing or reading or browsing or playing or anything so you can see how many number of check boxes are there all so when I am going to do that now you can see when I am going to enter some name and after that you can singing dancing browsing this will come here ok so now uh, singing only activated dancing and browsing and charting if you do that you will be able to see that all together here ok so this is check box control simple example to activate multiple options at a time in the uh, form ok so check box control and radio button control difference is what radio button control is only one option to select and check box control is multiple option to select uh, check box control and radio button control default event is what uh, checked changed event only both controls ok this is very simple example next I am going to discuss about uh, one more simple control in windows form that is called timer control ok timer control is nothing but what uh, so according to time interval you wanted to display any text in the label or any other control then we can use timer control here so timer control default event is what tick event so tick timer control default event is tick event 
the timer control uh, tick event we have to write the code here so for example i wanted to display according to timer interval then i wanted to display some text randomly running time so you can use timer control for example let me take one label control here you can see label control i'm taking one label control this is label control for displaying the data into this label control i will increase the size or uh, size of the con label control for displaying so 20 size i'm giving and bold i'm making it as true and the label text no need not to give it uh, here designing time because running time randomly i want to display the text according to timer interval this label uh, identification i'm changing lbl display here okay label lbl display but where uh, when it should display but meanwhile you can see let me check out uh, uh, form 7 for changing startup object in window form click on save it and click on run it form 7 is running when the form 7 is going to be run so according to timer interval the data should display into this here this control here okay so that is what what i'm going to do so i used to do that uh, timer control event here but where is timer control here no timer control is there when we go to toolbox then you can see timer control is present in where in uh, all window form control it is not present in common controls here but whenever you are not looking any required control as per your requirement in common controls you can go to all window forms tab here in toolbox when we go to all windows forms tab there is a timer control you can see timer control is present here timer control but when we click on timer control timer control is present in the bottom corner of the window it is not present in the form itself okay so behind the scenes timer control will work and according to this timer interval the text will be displayed in this control here okay so let's go to uh, timer control and properties what is the default event for timer control you can see click event will be there sorry tick event is there so default event for timer control is tick either you can go to uh, timer control and double click on directly you will be get tick event only or you can go to properties and events double click on tick event anywhere you can find out timer one underscore tick but here in this uh, global declaration initially i am going to start with int i equal to zero that means that uh, index should be starts with zero initially i equal to zero then after you can see if i equal to equal to zero what text you want to, to display then I can you can write here I equal to equal to zero then open and close LBL display dot text equal to then what text I wanted to display for example uh, Durga software solutions I want to make here Durga software solutions okay then you want to, to display lbl display dot text equal to four color sorry lbl display dot four color you want to present then you can color dot red i am giving and uh, label dot back color i want to make color dot uh, green here then immediately i should become what one in one zero manner i want to, to display in else part what i am taking here you can see so lbl display dot text equal to <coughs> Aitrivanam Hyderabad location. This immediately when I equal to one, it should be display Maitrivanam Hyderabad and LBL display dot uh, four color. I want to make four color so that is uh, green or else four color color dot orange. Then you want to make back color, you can make that back color equal to color dot hello then immediately i again what zero should become so in zero one manner i want you to display in the label uh, durga software solution when it is zero and when it is one maitrivanam hyderabad this should be happen with according to timer interval so behind the scenes timer event uh, will be raised that is tick event timer uh, according to timer interval that should be happen but you can see when I'm going to run directly with timer control, then for the first time when we are working with timer control, you won't be get any uh, output, you, go, you won't get any result here. So what we have written the code, that code is not calling because event is not starts with here. So because of this, what happened in this uh, form six or form seven, you can see form seven is our design. Let's go to form seven. So in this form seven timer control default event is tick event, it's okay. But uh, when it comes to properties, timer control property enabled property by default it is false 
but when we make true then timer control is going to be run otherwise it won't be run properly but even though if we run the properly my baking enable equal to true property then when we run the application you can see it is going to be display very fast here but you want to make slow them then you can go to again timer control properties and you can see interval equal to 1000 I am making it as now you will be able to display as per my requirement you can see when I equal to 0 Durga software solution and when I equal to 1 my 3 1 of Hyderabad that is showing here so this is what timer control according to timer interval if you want to display anything in that uh, labels or other controls then we can do that okay this is very uh, in simple control timer control but you have to remember here when we are working with uh, timer control for the first time timer control won't be execute first time you need to set a property called enabled equal to what true here when we set enabled equal to true then only it will be execute okay right so this is very simple control timer control next i am going to discuss about uh, one more important uh, control in reality and as well as in anywhere in windows forms application development that is called list box control so that list box control is used to accept a list of items here okay that's list box control for example you can see where it is having list box control in my toolbox you can see list box control is accept a list of items when we expand common controls you will be able to get list box control here so this is list box control list box control is display list of items to the user but list box control is having default event called selected index changed here control is accept list of items and that list of items are stored in list box control is uh, uh, in the form of collection that collection will be stored all items in index manner that means when we place 10 items in list box each and every item uh, is placed in index manner 0 1 2 3 like that okay so list box control uh, default event is what selected index changed here so we will see one simple example how to add list of items to list box control manually then we will discuss here okay right so now let me take one uh, window form for making list box control add window form form 8 here I am taking this is window form 8 here now what I am going to do here you can see I will take first list box control I want to place list of items in this list box control purpose I am placing list of list box control this is list box control okay right after that I will take two label controls and two text box control because selected item and selected index I want to place in this uh, separate controls called text box controls let me place this one more label control here you can see label 1 and label 2 here and let me take a tool uh, text box control here text box here and let us copy this text box control and paste into here right so these this is my design with one list box one two labels and two text box controls let me increase all together select these controls and let me increase the font size expand font size is let me take uh, 15 if you want to make to display bold then you can make bold here then this I am taking what here selected item I am going to display in this control so text here I am taking selected item selected item this is a selected index here you can see selected index selected index now this is a selected item selected index this text boxes names also I will change clearly proper names I will give this text box is accept only whatever the item has been selected from list box that will display so that's what this text box uh, name is txt item txt is control name item purpose I am going to take this text box control and let me take this text box name is txt is a control name then index is a index name txt index index I want display but you can see when I am going to change the startup object and running what is my requirement I will explain so for changing startup object in window form where should you go program.cs and it is form 8 here click on save it and run it but when we run you should see selected item so here any item I would like to select but right now we don't have any items in list box let me add manually items into list box control then after I will select any item that item will display in this text box and uh, I told that all items are placed in list box control is 
index manner so that index will be stored in in this index text box okay let me do the practical implementation here so let's go to form 8 then let me try to add first the list of items into list box control let's go to properties here and you can see list box control will accept list of items that items are in the form of collection so you should click on what items collection property and click on ellipse button here okay ellipse button and it will be asking string collector editor so you should give that uh, whatever the items you want to make to display in list box that you have to give for example c c plus plus java dot net php sql oracle mysql msbi hadoop okay these are all just i'm telling now you can click on it so when i going to add so that all items are placed in where list box but you can see whenever the list box control is having more items than its size then immediately what came scrolling facilities came because list box control auto scroll by default it is true you can see when i'm going to go to that uh, auto scroll facility so default uh, uh, list box control is having auto scrolling properties defaultly okay there is no uh, separate property for scrolling facility purpose then it is by default scrolling facilities it will provide list box control because when we have so many uh, items in list box control then its size okay right so what is my requirement i will uh, select any list of items like this if I select uh, C++ from list box that C++ is should display in this what uh, text box this text box and C++ index is what 0 1 1 index I want to make to display here in this index okay so if I go to Java Java is actually in third place that is second index second index should display in here and it, uh, Java should display here so text here and index is here let me do that but we are selecting the item in where so list box control so list box control uh, default event to what when we double click on list box control you can see selected index changed here list box control default event then here i am writing txt item dot text equal to txt item dot text equal to then where you are uh, selecting the item so list box control what is the list box control name list box one dot selected item dot to string okay item is coming from list box into text box but text box doesn't know what value is coming so text box is always accept text format only that's what i'm taking to string here next txt index dot text equal to list box one dot selected i selected index here in index text box we have to display list box item index selected index dot to string here okay selected index dot to string so this is very simple here now next uh, what i'm going to do here you can see txt item dot text equal list box one dot selected item dot to string txt index equal index dot text equal list box one dot selected index dot to string here now when i'm going to run the application you can see here clearly the list of items are going to be add into this list box already when we scroll down if i choose c language c is a list box item list box item is display in item text box zero is index when i go to c plus plus item is c plus plus index is one java dot net like this each and every uh, what it is uh, item will display and index is display clearly here okay so these are the uh, list box control here right so now let me discuss one uh, one more important control here you can see uh, user control i'm going to discuss now so user control means what and what is the advantage of user control here so user control means what here user defined control that means user can create its own control and that can be reused in another window form another window form but if you want to create user control then we need to use user control template user control template and user control is used uh, for reusability purpose so user control is uh, uh, provide reusability to in, in another window form but if you want to create user control we use uh, user control template 
user control template we have to use using this template we can uh, create user control but user control is provide reusability that means once if we design and develop the user control and that can be reused in any another window form is possible for doing this we have to follow these three steps compulsory step one and step two and step three to work with user control first step is what here creating user control creating user control and second step is design and develop user control and third step is invoking the user control invoking the user control that means after finishing creating user control and design and develop user control we have to invoke this control into another window form here okay right so if you want to work with user control or if you want to create your own control to reuse it in another window form within the same application then you can go to user control template using this template we can create user control so first step i will go here creating user control you can see let me go to creating user control first step is what user control how do we create click on project menu here you can see add user control is there when we click on add user control you can see user control template we have to choose why because user control but user control name i will uh, do this let me change my user control i'm going to give here okay my user control dot cs click on add it then you will be able to see that this is user control here but user control is not a window form itself it will not run okay if window form is there that will be done individually itself it will execute but user control it will not run individually user control only for reusability to other uh, form only okay expand how much size you want you can expand then let me prepare that user control design here for example let me prepare user control design like this so for two uh, few uh, but uh, label controls and text boxes and button controls let me do that but already we have design you can go to uh, solution explorer and uh, already same design let me go with uh, this design okay for making user control just design i'm copying and pasting you can do that also you can design you can copy the de design from one form to another form but here you can see uh, add subtraction we can we have taken two buttons only this is designing the user control okay creating user control is done completely first step designing and develop the user control designing is finished but develop means we have to write the coding but you can write the code like this as usual same code what we implemented previous sessions in a and b and c three variables you can take a value we have to enter at running time in text box so that is integer value so that's what text box will accept string value then txt num1 dot text we have to convert that convert dot 2 into 32 b equal to then convert dot 2 into 32 of txt num2 dot text here and c equal to what a plus b purpose we are writing finally that result should be displayed in what txt result dot text equal to c dot to string we have to go okay next what i am going in my user control subtract button i'm taking and subtract code you know that only changing what uh, subtract symbol minus so minus operator i'm using here you can see minus so we have created user control by going to project menu add user control completed and we have designed the user control and developed the user control means we have written already code once if we design and develop the user control you have to do you have to reuse this entire the design and coding into other window form how do is possible before that you can see you can go to project menu uh, you can go to build option you can click on build windows forms basics once if we build uh, this user control can be added to a uh, toolbox here but it is not adding toolbox now but when we go to other form it will it will be added to toolbox immediately my user control let's uh, take one new window form i want to make to use that user control what i implemented what i develop what i design same as it is i want to reuse here let's go to toolbox again you will be able to see that what my user control automatically came and stored in toolbox here so this is called user defined control so this is user defined control uh, using tem user control template i designed once if it design and develop user control then you can reuse any times in any other window form but within the same windows forms application here 
where we have created user control in that application only that is possible to reuse okay in that application i used in form 9 let's go to toolbox and drag this user control and drop okay we have dropped here and place here that's all did i design here no did i create user control no so did i write the code no so every time everything i'm just reusing drop dragging and dropping how the way you are dragging and dropping the text box label control from toolbox just i'm going to drag and drop my user control which is created previously then it is going to be reusable directly you can run form 9 okay so form 9 is having user control that can be run you can see form 9 you can see form 9 and click on save it and you will be able to see that form 9 is going to be run here okay form 9 so form 9 enter values and 45 and 65 add it and subtract it it's very clear okay i didn't write any code here i didn't write i didn't do the design here i didn't uh, take the labels and all everything i did in where user control just i drag and drop that user control so user control literally provide for what uh, reusability that reusability is possible with user control in not in other windows forms application within the same windows forms application is possible where user control is there there only we can able to reuse but there is a possibility to uh, once if we create a user control and uh, design and develop the user control invoke um, once if we create a user control design and develop the user control that you want to invoke into other window form there is a possibility but instead of creating directly user control like this by adding a template add user template add user control template you have to create this user control same steps we need to follow under windows forms control library when we follow windows forms control library then that will create dll internally once that will create dll internally that dll can be attached to any another windows forms application that is possible okay that will be discussed in uh, next uh, session